And David, Rob, we want to be clear, we're not talking about medical marijuana. We're talking about oil derived from cannabis. The city council members will vote on this resolution at their meeting tonight. This afternoon, they heard from people on both sides of the issue. Just setting up five dispensaries is not the end. It's merely the beginning. And that's my concern. Council Bluffs Police Chief Tim Carmody speaking before city council members Monday, worried that if the state selects Council Bluffs to legally sell medical cannabidiol, it could be a stepping stone to legalizing medical marijuana. Is I can't find any law enforcement officer that would stand here and tell you, hey, that was a good idea, let's do it again. City Councilman Roger Sando's resolution would support Council Bluffs being selected. According to the Medical Cannabidiol Act, which passed last year, the state of Iowa can pick up to five spots to build medical CBD dispensaries. CBD is derived from the hemp plant, and some say it can help people with chronic pain, seizures, and other disorders. I just think it would be a benefit um, for our residents if rather than traveling somewhere else, they, they could get it here. Mayor Matt Walsh agrees it makes sense geographically. The population centers of Iowa and those corners are Sioux City, Council Bluffs, Dubuque, and Davenport. Some CBD products are already sold in Council Bluffs, but none of the items currently for sale contain THC. A medical dispensary could sell CBD containing up to 3%. You would have to have a prescription, uh, and it, it will be, like I said, according to the Iowa Department of Public Health, heavily regulated. But with those regulations still being hashed out on a state level, some say it's too early to jump on board. Because the rules aren't fully made, we are in a position where we might not know what we're getting. Again, the city council will vote on Sandoz resolution tonight. That meeting starts at 7, but ultimately it's the state of Iowa that will decide where to put these CBD dispensaries, regardless of whether or not that resolution passes. Reporting live in Council Bluffs tonight, Camilla Ortiz, KETV News Watch 7.